Hi, I am Dr. Jyoti Patil. I am the consultant obstetrician, gynecologist and an IVF specialist. I am the clinical director of Janani Fertility and Gyne Care, which has been situated in ACS Layout, Whitefield, Bangalore. I also practice at Birthright by Rainbow Hospitals. I am the chief fertility consultant of the IVF department there. I will be discussing about the role of follicular monitoring. I want you to understand what exactly is a follicle and why are we tracking this follicle. Before that, I want the couples to understand that there are certain days wherein you know you have to try for pregnancy during those days. That is, those are the days when ovulation can be there. I know you are all aware of having so many ovulation detection kits which are there like you put in a drop of urine and you get to know whether there is ovulation or not. When a couple really wants to plan pregnancy, they have to try on those days, those special days when an ovulation is expected to happen and which might result in a conception. So now how can we know when the ovulation is expected? Normally when there are regular periods of cycle once in 28 to 30 days, the ovulation is expected to happen between 12th to 16th day. But when there are irregular periods, the ovulation might be delayed. The periods are once in 35 to 45 days. The ovulation might happen any time after day 19. So for timing the intercourse, this is going to be difficult. So the next comes, are we going to detect ovulation? Is there is any kits which are available for getting to know about this? There are LH kits or ovulation kits which tell us about whether the ovulation has occurred or not, but it might not be a 100% valid one. In case of delayed cycles, you cannot keep on doing the test every day from day 19 to day 25. So the best modality is to go for a follicular tracking scan. Now what is this follicle? Follicle is a water bubble inside which an egg will be there. We usually do a endovaginal scan that is a small probe will be put in the vagina and then on the scan monitor we do look for the uterus, the ovaries and the uterus and ovaries are visualized much better when we do a vaginal scan. So we keep on tracking this follicle that is on day 2, day 3 we do a baseline scan to look for the uterus and the ovaries then the second scan is expected to happen on day 8, day 10 we look for the size of the follicle. Once the size of the follicle becomes around like 18 to 20 millimeter, that is the time when the follicle ruptures and the egg comes out. So when the egg comes out, the tube, the fallopian tube is situated very next to the ovary, it is supposed to pick the egg. If the tube picks the egg and at that time when you plan an intercourse with the husband, then the sperms will travel inside the tube, meet the egg and the fertilization will happen which results in a pregnancy. When we do a follicular tracking, the chances of pregnancy are being like 10 to 15 percent chance in each cycle. And one more advantage of follicular tracking is, we'll get to know whether the follicle is growing or not. In cases like polycystic ovarian syndrome, that is in PCOS, we see a number of follicles. Normally, in a patient without any hormone imbalance, there should be 8 to 10 number of follicles should be seen. In PCOS, we might see 20, 30 and none of the follicle will be growing. At that time, we can add certain hormonal tablets and injections for the follicle to grow and we can ensure that the follicular growth is happening and which will result in a chance of pregnancy. So the correlation between follicular tracking, infertility and parenthood is follicular tracking will help you not being infertile which will result in your parenthood. Thank you.